So we're about to leave, it's about 20, 25 past 6 on Sunday morning. We're uh, just about to get on the coach, Shores of Durham, from Pilgrim Street. Dead excited, looking for this journey down to Wolves, seeing my first away match. I don't know, about three or four years, and I just uh, I wonder what time they're putting breakfast on, on the coach. Anyway, I'll catch up with you shortly. And we're off. Drive ourselves to reckon three and a half to four hour journey to Wolves. So there's some of Gandon on in the Radiof Bridge here. Somebody's uh, just being locked up. But there's uh, fire engines as well, it might be a, a jumper. All right. But well, it looks like they've got them off and uh, got it all sorted. Do yeah. so, I? Excitement already, we're five minutes in. Are we nearly there yet? So I've got uh, Brian here next to me, 68 year old Brian. You drew the short straw sitting next to me. Yeah. Uh, but he, Brian's been telling me some fascinating stuff about his travels with Newcastle Guns all over. You were telling us um, about four years ago, Brian, you went to China pre-season? Yeah, Shanghai, Nanking, pre-season, Asia, Premier Tournament. Brilliant, brilliant. Us, West Ham, Wolves and Man City had a, had a great a great week, a great week. There was, uh, there was about 50 were over there together, but there was loads of uh, Newcastle fans, expats and, uh, and Chinese. Actually, that was a great trip. Great trip. It must be like a, a really interesting community of fans who travel away through thick and thin, even in these pre-season friendlies. Yeah. You meet the same people? The same people. I, a lot of the same people go to every, every away game, no matter where it is, no matter what country it's in, uh, no matter where. I say if we played on the moon, they'd find some way of getting there. You know? <laughs> well, the atmosphere will be shit. Oh. Ah, yeah, there's not much atmosphere out <laughs> there. We'll, we'll change that when we get there. Though. So you could see fans like yourself are like the really, really hardcore fans, the dedicated fans, travelling away in pre-season. You went to Benfica as well? Yeah, it was over Benfica pre-season. Uh, over there for three days. It was about a thousand went. You know, it was uh, a real good trip. You know, but basically I just go, we go to all the away games. Never miss. So, Brian, you were telling me back in uh, 69, when you were about 14, you went to Rangers. Um, yeah. uh, was it a Fairs Cup game? There was about 12,000 Newcastle fans? Yeah, it was a semi-final of the Fairs Cup. It was 12,000 Newcastle fans went up the Rangers. Uh, I had to take the day off school for that, like, me and my mate. Uh, I think I was 14 at the time. And, uh, that was, that was, that was a, an experience, going up the Rangers at them days. I say there was 12,000 went up there, but there was 25,000 then come down to Newcastle, mostly without tickets. So, yeah. And you said there was a bit of a pitch invasion when we were 2 0 up? Yeah, yeah, they invaded the pitch when we were 2 0 up. Aye, they tried to stop the game, tried to stop the game. Uh, police horses, dogs, the lot got them off the pitch. They were basically they were out of control, the wild drug. But uh, the game went on, and uh, we got through the final. And the rest is history. Happy days. So coming back to today, Wolves away. Tough game, do you think? Aye, they're all a tough game, like. But I'm, I'm confident we're, we're coming away with three points today, like. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to seeing when you centre forward. Alexander Isak, yeah, yeah. I think he'll be playing today. So uh, you know, got something to look forward to there. So yeah, yeah. Who do, you think, who do you think we'll put in defence? I mean, we've had uh, Dan Byrne at left back for the last couple of games. Do you think he'll get, go with the same defence? Yes, I, I think so. Dan, 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 Dan Byrne's a great player. Me. And we've got some height there, you know. So uh, Eddie Howe was really stiff in the defence up. So uh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Right, thanks very much. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. Cheers to the tune. Right, it's 10 to 9, we've got a birth services. We're going to be here for half an hour. Fill up, get some scran, get a coffee or whatever, and uh, back on the bus. So I've got Lily and Carl here. Lily, I've got a board of collie called Lily as well. Are you one L or two L's? Or three L's? One L. Ah, oh, brilliant. So you're on a bus um, down to Newcastle. Uh, sorry, you're on a bus down to go to Wolves. Are you excited? Do you go to many away matches? Yeah. Yeah. Which other ones have you been to? Um, Man City and Burnley. Yeah, yeah. Your dad's got you into football, has he? Oh, yeah. 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 Who's your favourite player? Bruno. Yeah. And what do you think the score's going to be today? Um, 2-1 or 3-1. Okay. 
I think so as well. Do you think uh, Isaac's going to play our new centre forward? Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. Oh, sound just. Oh, the lads! So we're setting off again down to Wolves, and um, before I start talking about my thoughts on today's match against Wolves, I just want to mention Lucas Paqueta. I did an interview with um, Keith Downey straight after the Burnley game last match of last season where we talked about uh, Paqueta, well specifically Keith Downey gave his opinion that um, Newcastle weren't pursuing him. That sent me off on my personal trajectory, uh, that was probably the likely outcome. So I kept a close eye on Lucas Paqueta and uh, whether Newcastle United would be interested in him. And I've, I've done two or three videos now talking about this Paqueta pursuit. Um, and as far as I, I could see, um, it didn't exist. It was a story in an imaginary story perpetuated by the media uh, and then fluffed out by other sources convincing the Newcastle fan base that we were after a player that Newcastle United actually were never in pursuit of. Don't get me wrong, I'm a huge admirer of Lucas Paqueta. It's very it's a seductive um, notion to have these three Brazilians in our midfield. Great player, I would, I would love to have seen at Newcastle. It just never existed and uh, I've come in for a lot of criticism and comments from Newcastle fans some of them think I'm off my head mad that why we wouldn't be going for you know that we're going for Paqueta and we weren't and then we just had the news this morning West Ham have agreed a 51 million pound deal uh, with Paqueta so he'll be joining shortly of course added to that there was this uh, imaginary story that Leon were prepared to go down to 33 million you know, we should be biting the hand off, we should be buying them now. It didn't exist. You've been sold a ghost story. Uh, and the reason I mention this is, uh, you know, I, I don't profess to, to know all the information. Of course I don't. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes uh, and what the club are up to. But what I try to do on my channel is, is just be balanced. I, I look at things uh, and see if it makes sense in the wider context of where the club are. So I don't always bring you the, the clickbait news, the sexy stories. But I try to bring you the accurate stories. So yeah, look at look at Paqueta, gone. Um, so today's match against Wolves, it'll be interesting to see if, if Isaac starts. Um, Eddie Howe ordinary likes to break a player in gently, like he did with Bruno into the Premier League. Um, but with Wilson out, uh, who knows what he's going to do today? I've got a feeling he might start with Wood, uh, see how the game goes, and perhaps bring on Isaac later on. I'm interested to see if Burns starts at left back as well. Uh, Ryan Fraser's back into contention. He's back from injury, but also oh, actually with Burn, I, I hope he's recovered from his head injury. Um, but Wolves is always a hard um, ground to come to. They're a really tidy side. I know they've had a, a slow start this season, uh, but I do expect Wolves and Newcastle to finish round about each other by the end of the season. If you're asking me now, I take a hand off for a draw. But we are capable of winning, especially after that performance against Man City. We're, we're, we're perfectly capable of turning Wolves over today. Um, but I'll take a draw. But I'm actually going to go for a 2-1 win today. I'm quite optimistic that we're going to have a nice day in the sun down there. So at the pub now, the Winking Frog, at Schiffnell. It's about 12 miles northwest of Wolves, near Telford. I've never been here before in my life, so um, I'm going to have a pint. So you can get some views off a couple of fans. The next time you see us, it'll be uh, a video about um, the build-up of the match outside of Molyneux, and hopefully I'm going to get some uh, fan views home and away. Uh, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get a notification. Ryan, thanks for coming on Tyneside Live. Uh, yeah. What do you think is going to happen today? Right, I think he'll, he'll start. He'll start Wood. He's not good enough, but we'll take him the day, and then hope it gives a half time like. Isaac comes on. Uh, Isaac, 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 Isaac. Isaac, I think. Isaac, Isaac. Uh, Isaac. Somebody corrected me, yeah. Uh, we're going to go Isaac, and uh, I hope he comes on. Uh, I think uh, a lot of people want to see him the day, like. Uh, what, do you think, what do you think defensively? Who do you think he'll play? <sighs> Hopefully not Lascelles, like. Not Lascelles, not Dummett. Like, after Wednesday, I went, do you know Wednesday? <sighs> Every one of them are fucking shade. But Elliot Anderson. Every one of them are absolutely shade. Carly, thanks for joining us on the channel Tyneside Life. Now, you live down here, but you're a, a Geordie. Would you class yourself as a Geordie from Chester Street? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you live down here now. You're a Newcastle fan. Yeah. You go on the game today. Um, how excited are you by this movement and what's happening in Newcastle at oh, the minute? It's, it's a breath of fresh air. It's brilliant. We've suffered for so long. And it's, it's just like 
it's a new era yeah, breaking in. So, and how do you think it'll go today against a strong Wolves side? It'll be a close win to the tune, and but you, you don't know because they're they're due a win as well, aren't they? So, so forgive me ignorance of the geography. So, is Wolverhampton your local team down here? It's the most local Premier League club, but our, our Newcastle always have been, always will be. Like, yeah, yeah. and do you get to the matches down there? Yeah, I go as, as much as I can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, a forecast for the score today? What do you reckon? Two-one, Newcastle.